Hello, so this is a very very quick tutorial for the team on how to paint um, frames that are divided in various layers, how to do it in clip steel paint and how to do it so it gets so you can see this because uh, we have for example in here we have a frame where the hair her hair will be static in some points and it moves in some others and it's not like a close um, like close line around it to surround it so then we can like easily paint it but we also cannot put it together yet because that would be a lot of extra work uh, that we don't necessarily want to do so to paint hair hair first let me explain you how the layers are put so we have this the hair so this is like the the moving lines these are the lines that you're seeing like darker not these ones that are lighter. These lines, the lighter ones, the static lines, are far below in a simple layer that's basically um, the body. It's just the body. So first I would take out colors not to get myself distracted. Oh, sorry. Yes, is it here? Yeah, sorry. It's not here. It's <clears throat> in the body, the, this color line. Okay, so first I would take out this to not get distracted, the color that's in the static layer. I would find that. Then I will go back to the animation uh, layer and here, I mean, I'll have to pick up the colors obviously from um, the color test that I just made. <laughs> yes, sorry. Um, I have to pick up the colors from here because I'm still uh, working on this and creating an example. Basically, for example, the darkest color, we want to put it here, right? And in here, we see that the lines are closed if we could take into account this, um, the body lines, right? So uh, let me put the body into like full opacity, like this is just for the explanation, but it should be a full opacity. So we go to the color, I'm here in the animation uh, folders, and then when I'm painting, I'm using the refer other layers. Now maybe I mess up. I make sure that here. To know where will it paint, it can extend to the folder. This would be a mistake because we're in folder one and in folder one, the lines don't close. So it will not work. If I start painting here, it shouldn't work. See, I messed up. Or we can have other like selected layer, reference layer in this case, it should be all layers. So it refers also to layers that are like far below, above or whatever. In this case, it should work. Okay, so now it works, we can in like color easily. Okay, so that's very important not to lose a lot of time, basically. So I would paint like this. Okay, so we have, I need this color right now. Is it very similar? Yeah, it is. Let me do something. That's, I'm doing it myself because I'm the one taking care of the, the color settings anyway. Otherwise you should not be doing that. Like you should pick the colors from the actual, like if you're a colorist artist, you should not be in, like inventing or changing colors. You should pick them from the example of everybody that he gave. But yeah, basically just like follow these settings. Okay, this is a very important one. Close the gap, obviously, and so on. And paint like this. It's not full when you're painting you should have like full opacity make sure there's no like dots like we're we're getting little parts and then as always my, I mean let me finish this we have this in between color here it's so hot oh my did I take it right yeah <coughs> It's sort of in between color before we go to the super highlight and finally the highlight yeah. and to paint the highlight lines I will lock the layer okay so I'm locking it because if I don't lock it for example now I want to paint these green lines with the yellow if I paint it oh wait huh Okay, I don't know why, but sometimes it does not thing that makes like a little 
like this. You will see it. Ah, it doesn't appear now. But anyway, it's uh, advisable to have this locked in just in case so it doesn't go above and beyond. Like extra. We'll paint. Uh, in this case, highlights, like the green lights, are normally painted in the highlight color. Uh, blue lines, the shadow lines, are painted in the darkest shade. So if we have a blue line between this light-ish brown and this dark brown, the blue line will be in the dark brown. So that's how you work in this studio. And then we have like even a darker shade. Well, let me do this one. Okay. And then we have like these super dark ones. So then again, it's the second layer, layer of shadow that we'll paint in this color. Of course, as you see, um missing a few like dots and stuff that that's what we'll paint now and because we have this selected it's very easy to correct right now I just like go around super easy first I'm painting this uh, in between did this but a mistake for some reason why if I paint this what does th why does this get painted as well? Okay, let's do it manually. It's not the color we want here. So yeah, be careful in these things. Um be careful because like the yellow, like the green line didn't disappear it's still here, so you have to be careful not to go above. Okay, now we go back to the color and we fill in all these like white spots. Just because lines are like very close to each other, so it's it gets a little difficult. Okay. And let me see, no more white spots. Okay, so this is how we would have painted this hair. As you see, the lines in the body helped us fill it in and it was real quick, real quick. If it wasn't for me, like, we took a lot of time to take the colors. What I suggest, actually, for the colors is to open again the image or, like, make a, like, open again the image in another layer and have it, like, close. So you can just, like, pick, like, pam, 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 or even save the image in PNG, put it in your sub view. You can get these windows through here. Uh, where is it? Sub view. Um, and then you just pick from there. As you see, look at my mouse. I'm not pressing anything in the in the keyboard right now. Like I can either be painting, not here because I'm like be painting. When I drag my mouse here, I already have automatically the pick color tool. So I can I just need to move it. And I pick the colors. It's basically very useful to have it here. But when you put a, a picture here, it should be a, a PNG, not a JPG, because JPG will change the color, PNG should keep it. Or you simply, or something even more simple, I would, I could like, you could make yourself one layer that's not in the animation, that has like this, like, um, boom, these colors, is that the one, right? in between and this one so then when you change and you go to the further in between you still have this quick and then you delete it and nothing happened you delete this and that's it so right the first one now is done so for the ponytail with this ponytail it would be the same um let me paint it completely so it makes more sense because before it was also like messing around with the layers so again, darker because it's a purple line. So the part we choose the purple by the darker color. We make sure that there's no like little funny white thingies, and that's it. That's how I would paint this to make it easy. And then coming back, we just get the color again. Oh, I forgot to make all this. But anyway, that was the explanation on how to paint the uh, when we have 
the inks divided in different layers and if there's questions uh, let me know this is this video is for purposes to teach uh, the team inside Mario Exposito Studio so but if you find this on YouTube or somewhere else it's likely because I did decide uh, to put it online and maybe you may have questions just in case yeah just in case it's useful to someone else so goodbye